Hey guys, it's Wonder Puppy, also known as Lily, and today I'm going to be showing you all of my high school art so far. So basically, what's on these walls? So let's get right into it. So here's my door. Kind of an awkward filming state. Um, but we're just gonna get right into it. So, ma uh, the majority is of these, okay, well, a couple of these are from my studio art class, which was like my first, my freshman year. Then a couple of them are from my sophomore year, so I'll just, you know, explain. This is where it started. This is where I found my love for ink. So we only got one Sharpie, like ultra fine. And I did this and I was so proud of it. I'm not insanely proud of it now because of like the grass and the feathers are weird, but the stipple and the beak, I love. Like, look at all that. So cool. Okay. This was during COVID, so this was at home. We had to do a still life. And I took my Minecraft lamp. I had to have a food. I really like apples, squishmallow. I was playing a lot of Xbox then. That controller broke, by the way. And this was my old headset that I loved, and I was so proud of it. Everything else, I didn't really like how it turned out, but the headset beautiful i super loved that headset and then now i don't use it because i have a wireless one this is my alligator dude crocodile whatever i don't i think it's an alligator i think but i'm not 100 percent sure um this was a sketch to prepare for this which is like a scratch board i was pretty proud of it but it was definitely like a learning curve to use scratch board so these two, this one and this one, were done my sophomore year in my drawing and painting two class. And then so was this. This was the final for it. We had to make a, like a, a little animal. It was a hybrid that was three or more animals that represented you. So I put a wolf head because I like to do stuff alone sometimes. So like lone wolf. But I think I'm very loyal to my friends. I put a corgi body because I am also short and stubby. And I put a raccoon tail because I really like raccoons. But also, I think they're pretty smart for how they can get into stuff. And I put a lot of, like, flowers and stuff in the forest because I really like the forest and flowers and all that. I was really proud of my line work. Um, that's a common theme in a lot of my work. I'm... I think line work is the thing I'm most skilled in. So now we're, oh yeah, I forgot about these. These were done this year, so my junior year, in my sculpture class. So um, we did screen printing. And so these were a couple of the prints. You'll see it again later. I It was around Halloween time, so I wanted to do a nice little haunted house. And we used watercolor pencils to, um, to add the color. And it was my first time doing linoleum printing. And I really liked it. And I think that's something I would do again because it's super easy and really fun. So here's my big wall. It looks a little awkward because I'm missing a space right there, obviously. But I'm gonna add one of these right there when I make another painting. So we're gonna start off with my Sunglasses Girl series and ignore the little cord that goes to my lights. This was the first one I did, I think. This might be the earliest out of all these paintings, unless this one is. But this was during quarantine, I think. And I was really proud of it. I used Posca pens and acrylic paint. So I was really happy with how it turned out. So I was like, let's make more sunglasses, sunflower gla glasses, girl. This one was more um, acrylic paint than Posca pens because all my pens were running out of ink and I was really sad about it. So these were 2020. And then this one I had planned to do when I made this one, but I never did it. So I finished it at Halloween. And with all these, you can see their eyes, but this one, I couldn't make it look good. So I was like, I don't really care. And I just covered up the eyes. <laughs> and then these two are made with um, water-soluble oil paints. So it was my first time trying to kind of use all oil paints, like an intro. And it's hard. <laughs> I'm really happy with this painting. Not so much this one. This one 
It was supposed to be like, look like a bush and then you could see a heart through it. Didn't look that good. I hate this piece. I don't know why I have it up, but whatever. I don't want to put it away. This one, I like. I like the sky. I don't really like, I, like, I like the water kind of, but it doesn't really look like water. And the, this, the bridge dock <laughs> looks weird. So this in like, I was going through a breakup, so before I had the breakup, I started this, and then I was sad. <laughs> and then I finished it after. I was like, ha I'm cool still. The anatomy is horrible. That is not what women look like. But I like the idea of making sun, sun swimsuit girls. Ah. And I have, like, a love-hate relationship with this piece. Like, I, re I was really proud of it during the time, but now... I'm sick of looking at it and I kind of hate it. Oh, this is covering my camera, sorry. This was the second one to that piece. Looks kind of weird because of the glare. Lots of green. I wish I didn't make the background green. I used acrylic paint for both of these. And we're gonna move down. This is my little possum guy. I love him. This was the last piece I made my junior year of high school in my drawing and painting three class. So next year I'm going drawing and painting four. So we did wood burning. And it was my first time doing it. It was really hard. So here's what it looks like from far away. And then here's what it looks like up close. I have a shadow because my window's right behind me, which kind of sucks. But I really like possums. I think they're so cute. I used, um, I think I used watered down gouache and wood burning. I really like that pop of color. Look at all the details. This thing hurt my hand a bunch. Um, I really like how the shadows look like when you step back. See, like, I love it. Here's my sharky boy. You probably have seen this in my last video where I worked on it a little bit. And I love him. The signature is kind of weird. So, like, that's what my signature usually looks like. But I was like, let's change it up. And I don't like it. So, I won't be doing that anymore. But I love him. It was like an idea I had at work where I just drew a hammerhead shark. In a birthday hat and then I was like we're gonna make this painting I really wanted to work on oh my god what is that what is that no I did not know that was there okay wait um okay I'll just ignore it anyway so I wanted to, I'm trying to work on being less like have everything be as smooth as possible because I, I overdo it sometimes and I'm just experimenting with having some stuff being kind of textured. So you can see that in, like, the water. And I don't know what that is. I'm really mad, but whatever. My arm is getting tired. Okay. This is my skeleton boy. I did... So th this one was done recently. And then this one was done around Halloween time in my art class, my junior year. And the idea was we had to draw a skull. Let me get closer to this guy. Show all the little details. The camera's not the best, but I really like it. So we had to dress school, and that was like just the prompt. You could do whatever you wanted. And I chose a little skater dude. I'm really proud of it, but at the same time, I hate it. <laughs> I really like how this top of the school, like the blending turned out, like right there and like everything. But the teeth, no, sir, why did I do it like that? And then I'm also really proud of the sweater because the wrinkles look amazing. Look at that. I love it. Skateboard's okay. I wish I added a little bit more shading to it, like the outside of it. But whatever, all in all, I'm still proud of this piece. I like it. So now we're here at my door. Again, the other side. I have a lot of artwork on doors. You will see that later. So you have seen this piece. And... I've never been able to do a real good close-up, I think, and explain it all. So that's what I'm going to do. This was a statement piece that was the, like, prompt. And it was on Masonite, which is kind of weird. I've never used Masonite. But I've got this stuff here, which is super sad, but whatever. Um, and so we just had to do something that was, like, kind of, maybe not controversial, but, but something, you know, to, like, expose something kind of thing. Or make a, make a statement, that's the point. And mine is supposed to be on um, the struggles and like the, the amount of pressure that is put on teenagers in high school. This could work for college too, but um, I'm using high school. 
because I was in high school. <laughs> right? I still am in high school. So the main focus is this girl who is really angry, as you can see in her face. And she's trying to block out everything around her. And that is why she's blue and everything else is red. Red is to signif sig sig signif signify? It, red is to show anger. <laughs> so I have her with these jail cell bars behind her because she feels trapped. And her heart is locked up because she can't do anything she wants to because of school. <laughs> Which is how I felt. This computer. It's like her missing assignments or like her tests. Fun fact, this was all stuff that I was doing. So... Megaphone, screaming, scholarship, and perfect grades. She's trying to cover years so she doesn't hear it, you know. The struggles of um, the expectation of getting a scholarship and having perfect grades is very, um, like, this, like it can really mess someone up when they are doing everything they can and it's still not enough or they can't do anything else. These are all kind of experiences that I have had with school, especially because I got sick and missed a bunch of school and it messed me up. Report card, you know, it's virology. <laughs> you can see it says report card. I don't think, I don't know why I didn't fix that. That's so funny, I don't even, I didn't even know that until now. Big pile of stacked books. And then the phone is like your best friend being like, why haven't you spent time with me? Your boyfriend is like, I miss talking to you. And you have a reminder, complete all late work. Because you only have time for school. You don't have time for your friends. One of my favorite pieces this year. All, pretty much all the pieces this year, except like a few. I have been insanely proud of. I've seen a lot of growth in my work. And you can probably see that yourself throughout like some of these. And I'm still not done. I still have a bunch of show. So we're going to move on to this was my first piece this my junior year. And it was the popcorn piece. So you took a bunch of popcorn and we put them together where we saw something. I saw a knight in a little dress with a weird bat creature. And so then we had to recreate the popcorn as it looked. And then we had to draw a drawing. So I have a knight and a K, very D&D, &D, which is like the dice. I don't know, I didn't see the dice in this one. Unless I did. Oh, I lost the, my, my dice came off. Oh, well. <laughs> I just noticed that. that's so funny. But yeah, I wasn't amazingly proud of it because I still have a really hard time blending color pencil. So the background isn't the best ever, but I was really proud of the, the blending with the knight. I think he looks fabulous. Going on to my next project. So this was a, um, <sighs> Oh, it's supposed to be positive negative space. So these two go together. The main focus was the tombstone. And I have two girls celebrating the death of, or not the death, the birth, the, sh they're celebrating their dead friend's birthday. Okay, so it's her birthday. They're, they're having fun drinks and they're eating cake and hanging out. This was like, this one I based off my friend Vanessa because she was the, she was um, like I took a reference photo of my friends, and this is basically what she wore, and uh, not exactly to what she looks like, but I based it off of her. I'm, I'm not amazingly proud of this. So this is when I was coming back from my sickness time, so I was like super rushed to get this done. So I think I do want to redo this digitally and add color. I think it'd look a lot better. I also got a little rainbow. I thought that'd be cute. And this one, I think I'm more proud of this one than I am this one. I really like how the rain looks. I really like the, um, I'm sorry for shadow, all the droplets. I've never done something like that before, so it was very new. The idea is this one, this piece is supposed to be very loving and together and caring well this one is very lonely and sad so yeah okay we're gonna move on this one i'm just gonna show it real fast because it's in my room so this i'm covering up the i don't even know if i wrote the date i think i wrote a smiley face it was like my initial but this i did probably in like sixth grade 
which was a really long time ago. <laughs> oh my God, that was like six years ago. That's so weird because I'm about to be in 12th grade. But it was to signify, signify, I don't, I don't know. It was to show everything that I liked at the time. So this was uh, an OC Summer who I've been working on to change. She's a vampire. She's still a vampire. Ooh. Okay. So. This bad boy. I love it. It's me. I look great. So. We had to do an anatomy um, project, and you had to choose someone you knew to draw, and I chose me, because <laughs> I'm self-centered in that way. Um, I was really proud of this piece. I did this this year, and I'm so super happy with it, and I did the background, and I just, I love it. I don't really like the grass. The grass looks kind of mid, but I like the trees. I used Posca pens and alcohol markers. And I think it's fitting. A lot of my, um, I have a common theme of using green and brown in my pieces because I like the forest and I like that aesthetic. Oh my gosh. So yeah. Then we're gonna move on to this one. This was also my this year. This one was pretty shocking. So I'm gonna show it far away. Okay, maybe, maybe a little bit more far away. Now I'm gonna show it up close. So this was another still life we had to do. All this is stuff I had, have, and everything has a significance to me, except, except this. I don't like that, but whatever. So I wear Crocs a lot. I have this little rat named Bartholomew. Great, right. let me grab him. Hi. Ooh. Okay, my little rat Bartholomew. I take him on trips. I love him. I actually was not planning. So here's the detail on the um, the sheet. It looks a lot like more pinky in real life than on camera. Looks kind of weird, but in real life it's more pink. Um, I used watercolor and ink on this. I was planning on using watercolor and color pencil, I think, on this, but. It, it didn't work out that way. Ignore my um, random hiccups and like coughs. So yeah, sorry. But so I started inking like the regular details of everything, you know. I think I inked the Bartholomew first. That's my rat. And I was like, man, this is so fun. I love inking. And some of the details that are there, you can't really see because of the watercolor. Um, and then I was like, you know what? Let's ink the sheets behind it, because I was in my reference picture. And then, okay, we're going to move on, though, as much as I love that piece. These were made my sculpture class. You saw it before this was the first one, and then, you know. This, I didn't make in school, but I make during school, 2020. And I was really into Minecraft, and I would fish a lot in Minecraft. So I drew myself as a Minecraft person, and I adore it. This bad boy. This was done my sophomore year, so last year. Bloop. Um, the idea was metamorphosis, so we had to draw something that was changing, and I did chose this guy with a very buggy beard, his hair, his beanie, his ear, it's all turned into bugs, and I imagined him as a lumberjack, and he's sitting in a diner, alone, eating some pie, reading some newspaper. I don't love the anatomy on this, but I do still really love how it turned out. The background, oh my gosh. Again, as I've said, I have a common theme, green and brown. Brown, green and brown, green, green and brown, green. I guess I really like green. I didn't know I liked green that much. My walls are green. Okay, that wasn't my choice, but I think. And then here's just some, I did this at work on Pizza Box. Cause it was me in my prom dress. And then I just drew this like one day. It was like me as a witch and I'd be a rat witch cause I like rats. Okay, the lighting is kind of weird because my window is like, my window's right there. So, like, I don't know. This one, last year, sophomore year, whatever. We had to do a self-portrait. And, of course, I chose ink because, um, obviously. I really like this piece. I gave myself a weird little mustache. I did not mean to do that. But I was really proud of it. I think I still am. Okay, there's going to be a weird shadow. I'm really sorry. 
Uh, I think I've just looked at it so much and now I'm like, this looks weird, but I still like it. And then I like all the, the, the contrast between the color and the not color. I did that on purpose. I want it to look very playful and childish, which I really love. There's a lot of details on the trees. I love this little guy. And he's like, what? Why are you doing this? So yeah. Don't have much to say. This one was also done last year. This one I did at home in, it was called EDL. And it was like, it's basically our Zoom call, like class, you know, like that's when we had that. And this was my first project last year because I came in the middle of the year back to school because I was doing a different kind of online learning. So it was weird. But here's my little moose. We had to make a pencil animal. I chose a moose or a pencil object. I just did an animal. I kind of gravitate towards animals and like stuff and people. So yeah, I'm super proud of it. I really liked blending. I wish the paper wasn't so thin, but I was using my own paper. So, you know, I don't love the the background very much. It was supposed to look like, like trees kind of in the distance, but it didn't, I don't know what I was really doing. I think that was my intent. I was trying to make it look very like, like a dark forest background, but green and brown. Again, I also really like doing these kind of um, bushes. I think I did so many of those that year. <laughs> it's pretty funny. I love this little guy. I love how big his nose is. I really like moose. I would love to see a moose one day, but I would probably die. And then I'm gonna move over here. There's only like one thing over here. It's my Joan Jet painting. This is was a picture of her. Um, I have a book about her, so I took a picture. Like I, I drew this, or I painted this. I still love this. It's very weird. Like oh, and it was um the color is crimson, and there's a clover, and she's a song called Crimson and Clover. 2018 oh my god okay i have some more stuff to show but it's not up on a wall so i'm gonna stop the video and film myself so you can see okay so for this part of the video it's probably kind of weird probably not that weird um you're gonna see me inverted so my whole room is gonna be inverted so that way you can see the art correctly i haven't looked through this in like ages so um blind reacts so we had to do, I'm just going to run through this kind of fast. We had to decorate our porf portfolios. Portfolio. Portfolios. And then so, well, it's my name. Not very interesting. This one's pretty cool. Uh, it was It's Minecraft themed. So we had to do something with like hands and like a shape. That's Minecraft themed, look! Okay, can you see that? Minecraft! I love Minecraft. I was on a Minecraft high. I go through these very big Minecraft highs over time. So who doesn't love Minecraft? Um, this? This was made in 2019, so freshman year. We had to use chalk pastels. chalk pastels. So yeah, and like, you really see that? Yeah, they suck. Even though I sprayed this with a sealant. We had to like change, we were working on color like color theory stuff so i took a fall scene and made it like a cool color scene i'm just gonna lay this on the floor okay um some of this is random stuff that i'm just gonna go by pretty fast this was out this was my first project we had to do something with hands and i chose a christmas theme because i was very christmas oriented like I, it was like july or no it, it was starting school so it was it was august and i was like excited for christmas so i got the elf mistletoe snowflakes christmas lights present santa's list on the hands santa he he's in shape chimney tree stocking blah blah and then the little there's rudolph so there. this one's pretty cool it's a comic i did my sophomore year that was just prompted we could do whatever way we want so i'll show it it's about a little bear and a raccoon the raccoon's name is tulip the bear is sleepy so, he's blowing up balloons, he's getting ready for the party, he says happy birthday, he's making a cake, there's Tex, so, okay, wait. boop, and then they're like, hey guys, hi, so there's a cat and a little dog, and it's like, I'm so excited, to the cake, so I like it, because you can see it all, like, coming into place, and so they're like, hi, she's here, why? 
I, I made the raccoon too dark. I was very sad. Like, the, these two colors, like, were, like, too much of the same. So then she opens the door. Surprise! They're like, woo, woo, oh my gosh, let's, let's get this party started. And they're like, happy birthday, Sleepy. Or happy birthday, Tulip. Look at the cake Sleepy made. I think it's so cute. I always draw raccoons this way. Because it's so cute and I love it. I love, I love it. This was, I, I totally forgot I made this and I'm still very like happy with it. Okay. Oh my gosh. This piece has a bunch of pent up anger. This is my salmon. Um, this is supposed to say Washington, but they, I made a Q <laughs> instead of a, a G. We had to do a postcard and we used tempera paint and it was horrible. I hated it. And I remember my teacher, I was going to leave the fish like flat, like like smooth. My teacher was like, you need to add texture. Or she would mark me off. And I still have that teacher and I love her. But I'm like, I was really salty when she said that to me. I like it. It's okay. It's it's not very special. It was kind of seeing those ideas. You had to make a book about like an element. And I'm not going to read the whole story. But basically, um, Tennessee found love. She went on Tinder dates. Or it was Flinder. God, that was funny. She went on a date with someone, and he was like, mm, I really like you, and then she was like, like, every guy didn't really like her, and she hard on this. And every guy didn't like her, and she kept being weird and being like, I have a family of 118, I was made in the Oak Ridge Na Na National Library, and this dude's like, what? And then she's like, this dude's like, do you want to be housewives? And she's like, I have no world in life, I was genetically made. And then the end of it goes, like, this dude, he goes, you're the only 10 I've seen, because her name was Tennessee. It was so funny. Sketch for the wolf corgi. Damn, this is a good sketch. Here's the thing for Inktober, and I never finished it. Here's another thing for Inktober, and so not all this high school, but this was like freshman year, it, but I wasn't in school. It was, um, I was really happy about I loved this piece, but I spilled ink on it, and then I cried and gave up. I was like, look at the back. Um, there were friends, and they trick tree, and they were trading, and they got a ton of candy, and she's like, I'll trade you my chocolate bar for a spider ring. And he's like, mm, no way. And I was really sad. This, ugh, this is so bad. So this was before high school. I don't, I don't, I don't have a date, but I'm, I know this was middle school. I made two heroes. One was me, obviously. I used to be super Lily. Pretty. One year I went <laughs> for Halloween. I went as myself. I went as super Lily. It was pretty lit. This is a sketch for a piece you'll see later. This is a sketch that I never did anything with. It was supposed to be like, everyone's different. And I was going to have a bunch of like random stuff. But I didn't like the idea. Another project we did. I was really into Elon Musk at the time. So, you know, he had to take off his hair. And then like add something to make it his hair. And I drew his little weird cyber truck. Or, like the Christmas time. It says Merry Xmas. We had to do something candy cane themed, and I hate how this turned out. This was a still life. I was really proud of this for a while. I really like the glass. We did my art class. It was like a pain to set up every day. Oh, I hate this piece. We did a mechanical thing. Oh, wait, am I holding it right? Oh, no, I'm not. We did a mechanical thing in my art class, and I chose the inside of an Xbox, so I play Xbox. Right there. I don't like how it turned out. I don't. At the end of it, I stopped looking at the reference and just was like, I don't care. So I hate that piece. The piece sucks. That's why it's in the portfolio, not my wall. This piece, however, I love this piece. I just was sick of seeing it on my wall. So this is Fun Town. Yeah, it's fun. So I made this with like, so this was freshman year. Yeah. And I sit next to my friend Lizzie. If you see a Susie, hi. She probably wouldn't watch it, so. So, I, we had to make a town and have perspective and blah, blah, blah. So I made each place very fun. I always would build a snowman house in Minecraft. So I built a snowman, or drew a snowman. It's an ice rink um, with, like, more fun stuff up top. There's Al's birthday celebration. Um, you know, you have party. It's kind of like a Five Nights at Freddy's place, like the Pizza Plex. Um, here's Beverage Place. And it's shaped like a margarita because it's inspired by Margaritaville. But I can't copyright, so Beverage Place. And then I have Love's in the Air. A heart shaped restaurant. That's all there is in the city. This, oh, I made during quarantine. 
it was another spot like whatever project and we had to just use stuff that we like that represent us so this was me freshman year um freshman year it's an oil pastel piece and we had to take a flower or like an object zoomed up and change the the coloring the color scheme so this was a lobster flower it's supposed to be like red and yellow and green then i changed it i didn't like this piece very much that's why it's in here so yeah i'm editing right now and i just realized i forgot to film an outro so if you like this video leave it a like i would super appreciate it if you have any video ideas suggestions leave them down below if you watch this whole video it's like 30 minutes long you are a trooper and i appreciate you so if you leave a comment on what you want to see next or if you have a drawing request comment down below i might um repay like do it i don't know but have a good day and like this video and then i'm gonna put some other videos here some drawing videos so go check those out okay bye also check out my instagram because it, it's probably in my middle school like where i keep all my middle school art but so like like this is supposed to be my middle school art so i'll probably show it again when i show my middle school art in detail because I don't want to take a lot of time on it. And this video might be long. I did do this um, 2019, so I think I was in high school. It's a redraw. I don't love it. The anatomy is weird, but I was using marker and colored pencil. And I like the I like the surroundings, but the, the water was hard. was hard. I have a hard time with stuff like that. The rest of this is just sketches and graphite stuff. So I'm still going to show it. But if you don't want to see that and you stop the video, I won't be mad. Just check out my Instagram and I'll forgive you. It's linked down below. This is a sketch for my, my, um, that, that one. A lot of these, like I said, they're just, they're sketches and they're, they're in charcoal. Did I say graphite? I meant charcoal. This was practicing with the little arm guys. I had them, they're full of time. And then this one's also practicing with the little arm guy and made him angry. I don't know where to put these anymore. I don't want to mess up my other art. Okay. I like to keep these because I like to just see how I did that. I want to get more newsprint. These are on newsprint. Um, what's this? Oh, this is my friend Evie. So. She was laying on the table and we had to do like exercises where we draw each other. I normally have the time, but I guess I didn't write it down. Oh wait. These might have both been 15 minutes. Cause that was my friend Evie and this is, this is Vanessa. But this was like my first one. So it doesn't look that good. I have a better one of Vanessa. That I'll show you in a minute. Oh, whoa. Oh, okay. Oh, this is a sketch of me for my anatomy thing. And this is the, this is the tracing paper I used for my skeleton, okay? Okay. That you've probably seen a bunch of times. Oh, these ones are weird. These are the silhouette ones. So these are both Vanessa. Hi Vanessa, if you're watching this, I miss you. I'm gonna send this to them and be like, you're, you guys are in this. So we had to do silhouette. I was really happy with this one. Ugh, I don't want charcoal to get everywhere. Fuck. Okay. And then, oh. Who's this? Oh, this one's Evie. Oh, I love this one. Okay, this one, this part's not Evie. This is this girl, Danny. And this was a seven minute one. This the next one was a seven minute one. This one's Evie. And I freaking love this one. So it's kind of hard to see, but her hand, she was like this. And it was so cool. I was really proud of the hand. So I did it really fast. Oh, my stuff is falling. Okay, I don't think I, oh, I might have more of a feeling behind it. Oh no. 
Haha, <laughs> this is funny. Hand practice. Hand practice. I don't know what this was. Okay, so that's all of that. I thought I had one more Vanessa that I really liked, but sorry Vanessa if you're watching this. I guess not. These are school pack practices. This is like the last one I did. I'm gonna show more in a second. Or that might have been the first one I did actually. Oh yeah, that was like the first one I did. And these, this is when I was like, oh, I don't want to do one that's straight on. I want to do one that's like to the side. I really like that one. And that's a little sketch. My first little sketch. That's how I got the idea. I was like, this is so cute, because the models we were using, we were using like life-sized like schools. They had this like line right here. And I don't know if that's true for all schools, but um, and I was like, that looks like a brim of a hat, and that's so funny. So that's why I got that idea. And then I only have a few things left in here. Neck practice or spine practice. Practice. Oh, practice. And then skeleton practice. This is for anatomy. And then this was the sketch for the mechanical thing. So yeah, that is it. So I will clean this up in a minute. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. Uh, I'm super open to suggestions on videos you want to see. Just so you know, they're most likely going to be art, not really crochet related. But if you want to see a crochet related video, let me know and I can make it happen. Just not as often. Um, yeah, check out my Instagram, LinkedIn, description. If you want to see another one of my videos, you can hit right here, I think, right here. You should subscribe and thank you for watching the video. Bye.